Today, I am fishing one of the biggest tournaments that I have ever fished. This is a local trails classic tournament, and I will be fishing it solo. There's one. There's one. I do have a fish. There's one. I think I have one under a rock. That's a nice fish. There's one. There's one. That's a good fish. Yes. Yes. Get in here. Yes. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're out here and today we are fishing one of the biggest tournaments that I've ever fished. I think there's about 15 boats. The prize is actually up by $200. So it's a big cash tournament. As you guys can see, I got passed multiple times, but uh, I'm addicted to tournament fishing now. And last tournament, we actually caught a win and cashed a check, which was a lot of fun. First with 1120 is Anderson and Johnson. Back up. Look at that. Wow. So I wanted to get out, challenge myself, become a better tournament angler, and we were solo today. We have a ton of rods on the deck, and uh, we're gonna try and see what we can do. Try and catch some fish. It's a five fish limit. We're fishing to 1130. It's supposed to be 102 degrees out today. That's not even including the fills like, so it's gonna be hot. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we're super close, so thank you guys. I'm not gonna talk too much longer. We're about to go into our first spot of the day and try and get on some fish. All right, so we have the whole entire river to fish. Hopefully we catch some. It's going to be super hot. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're about to find out. First part of the day, we're stopping this little creek. I'm going to try and get a little top water bite pretty early. We got a Senko, a jig, a crankbait, a worm, a spinnerbait, a buzzbait, and a frog. So we have all kinds of stuff. Whenever you fish solo, you got to have pretty much everything. But uh, this is actually my second solo tournament. And uh, my first one went awfully, so uh, we're gonna see how uh, how today goes. But I'm really feeling good. We're gonna try to get a buzz bait back in this creek. Let everybody kind of get down the river because they got those two fifties. And then once you know everything settles, we're gonna go to the spot I actually wanted to fish. Oh, something just moved right in front of me. That's a good sign. Come on, we need five fish. The river is not generating, and that's like my favorite time to fish it. So we're gonna see what happens. We could get one first thing that would be great i've been up since three o'clock i didn't sleep any because all i could think about was catching fish here we are we are now here it's gonna be a grind today for sure it's just super it's gonna be super hot and uh, the river usually is a little tough. It definitely can kick your butt. I don't know if coming off of a tournament win, fishing another one is a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess we, we shall find out. We're probably gonna make a little run here. It's gonna take us a while to get to the spot I wanna fish, but it's where I have confidence at. So we're going towards it. While we get out of this creek, I am gonna toss around a little spinner bait here, a little all white zinger. Feel like we might as well. I mean, I feel like if I'm gonna catch a five fish limit, I gotta be constantly fishing. There's one, there's one. 
Is he 12? That's that's actually 12, I think. Stay on. Get up here. Yes, that's a 12 incher for sure. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I found what they want. They're here. It's one of the old spur bait. That is actually amazing. That should be a 12 incher all day. Let's go. Oh, that was literally first cast with a spinner bait. That's what I'm talking about. First cast right there. There, buddy. Well, I was just about to leave this creek. I was like, they're not hitting top water. Maybe we should move. And I was like, all right, I'm about to go down this whole entire creek stretch and fish because why would I just pass it all up? Let me pick up something different. Picked up the zinger, a little white spinner bait, first cast. He ain't much, but he is he is a keeper, and that's what we need. We need a keeper on the board. It builds the confidence, and then we just need a kicker throughout the day. We need three more fish and a kicker. And I'm gonna grab some of this. Got some little live well formula right here, which uh, basically you just put it in there. It helps the fish like replace slime coat and stuff. So, I mean, we might as well do it. Alrighty, fish number one. Let's go. Yeah, I was tossing the, the spinner bait around. I was like, oh, there's a tree right there. That's what I thought I had. I didn't know it was a fish. I saw my spinner bait disappear, but I thought I just grabbed the tree. That feels good. We got one. Four more. Got a little all white with a uh, little happy trailer on there. Thing looks great. Oh, come on. Oh, I had one. No, we cannot miss fish today. That is something we cannot do. Just need four more. I'm just glad we pulled up first spot and caught one. That makes me feel a lot better. I've also fished this part of the river a lot, so I have a few confident spots, but you know we're really gonna need a kicker today if we're gonna win this thing dude i'm glad i decided to pick up a pick up a bait and fish this fish this on the way out because i would have missed that fish i mean there's no point of just missing opportunity i mean we're still working our way out but at least i'm fishing my way out so gives me a better chance than if i wasn't casting a rod no need to overdo our stay here we might already have already well got one I feel good about that. Ooh. All right, one fish, four more to go. I'll see you guys at the next spot. somebody was at the spot i wanted to fish beat me to it our boat doesn't go as fast as the 250s so if you guys know a boat company or you're a boat company watching this hook your boy up so we uh we kind of went up more we're gonna fish this bank line i've usually had a lot of good luck here and we'll see what happens well we have one that's better than none if you think about it so i'm pretty happy about that kind of throw the buzz bait up here on this uh Bank line. See if we can't maybe get one to eat it. Usually in these tournaments, big fish get caught on top water, and then uh, you kind of just fish the rest of the day, trying to add on top of your big fish. But uh, I have, I don't catch real big fish on the river, so I'm just gonna have to grind it out and hope for a nice decent bag. Come on, big fish, where you at? Where you at today? You need to be on the end of my hook and in the live well. That's where you need to be. Yeah, we're going to take a second. We're going to fish this, uh, this brush real quick. While we're here, might as well give her a cast. Nothing has even shown interest in the buzz bait, which blows my mind, but you know, let's see if maybe they want the, the worm. Maybe they're a little slow this morning, you know? You never know, you never know. Do have a feeling though, when it gets hotter, it's gonna be the way it's gonna be. Just dragging, dragging, and dragging. Got a lot of structure coming up. I really wanna pick the buzz bait back up, but man, I just haven't had nothing show no love to it. I'm picking the buzz bait back up. Can't resist. 
while we got the early morning, you know, might as well. Oh, one got it. There we go. Oh, no, he pulled off. No, 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 no. How? We literally have a trailer. Oh. I don't even know if he was a keeper, honestly. All right, that's a good sign, though. Guess we'll keep throwing the buzz bait. Oh, there's one. Dude, he came off, too. What the heck? You've got to be kidding me. What's going on? Dude, he's tiny. That might be a bluegill. That actually might be a bluegill. There's one. Dude, how am I missing this? I have a trailer hook on there. Multiple bites, like back to back to back, and just like missed every single one of them. I mean, you just have to be skilled to do that, I think. Oh my god. How am I missing these fish? I used to miss them all the time. And everybody was like, get a trailer hook, get a trailer hook. And now I got a trailer hook and I still can't catch them. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous at this point. That's what, five, four, four, five? Missed? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm not feeling this. I'm gonna pick it up, make another move. Probably the shaded side. I think that's gonna be our best bet today. Let's get out of here. Alrighty, we have made it to another spot. I think the shade line is gonna be good today. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, I don't really know. We're just gonna kinda mess around with everything. I think our main bait today is gonna be top water. A worm and that spinner bait. I don't know though. They just haven't been really reacting real great. I mean, we called that one on the spinner bait, but it was like such a weird bite. Who knows? So usually these five fish tournaments are about to three o'clock, but since it's gonna be like 108 today, we only have till 11:30, and it is currently. 7:32. So, if we could uh, catch a few more fish before, you know, 11:30, I'd feel great. I mean, it's good that we have one. We have something to work with. I'm just hoping we can figure them out real quick and maybe add on. Oh, one just picked it up. Oh, he dropped it. Why did he drop it? All right. Well, they like the worm. I just can't get them to fully commit on it. There's one, got him. I thought I had a fish. <laughs> it's a spot, oh no, I don't know if he's gonna keep. Are you are you 12 inches? I, I don't remember if it's 12 or if it's 14. I don't even know if he's gonna be 12. See, that's why it's hard, so hard to hook fish. Look how little their mouths are. <laughs> oh, you are gonna be too small, I'm afraid. Yep, too tiny, see ya buddy. Dang not what we need we need a keeper oh my god so I'm getting bites I just think they're tiny spots because they're not like fully eating it I just feel like a little little bump that's it one's literally eating it Had them for a second dude they're definitely spots i mean look they're not even getting the hook well we uh we're getting bites they're just not the bites we need we need a big one or at least a keeper we're getting bit by like little eight and nine inch small i say small mouth spotted bass like that one that i just missed didn't even pull the hook out so he basically is grabbing it by the tail every time Like we're over here getting consistent bites, but man, the fish are just too small to eat this worm. So I just know that they're tiny little spots like the one that we caught. And that ain't gonna do it for us. We need uh, 
some decent fish. I mean, since I'm getting bites, I feel like we need to continue. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna hope that we get lucky and get a nice bite. Oh, I swear I've only missed 50 million fish today. And it's like, I don't know if I'm just missing them or if they're just these tiny little spotted bass that are messing with me. But I am for sure missing both of them right now. The fact that we could have a full limit right now is just making me so mad. And also just missing every single fish is also making me very mad. Oh my god, I cannot, dude. It's like every cast I get a bite and then just miss it. Literally taking the rod on my hand. Go to set the hook. Just disappears. <laughs> I've never gotten this many bites on the river. And I've never missed this many fish in my life. Why do I even try? Why even set the hook? Why even? I just, I don't even understand. Like, why even set the hook? <sighs> well, it's not great. It's actually pretty bad. We have one fish, we caught two. Other one wasn't a keeper. We still need fish, that's the problem. Ah, they like the Mondo worm on this rock, but I just cannot hook them. I think they're all small. I've probably missed 400 fish today easily. I've tried throwing the wacky worm in there to kind of get them to try and eat that, nothing. Oh, I'm tired of the summertime, man. It is so hot. We're getting our butt kicked by fish. It's 900 million degrees out. <sighs> Dude, we gotta do something here. <sighs> All right, we are about to take a little mental break because not only is it 1 million degrees outside, but I am currently losing my mind casting at nothingness. So I'm gonna sit down eat some food and we'll come back to it we got some grapes some uncrustables this is what's going to give me the energy to catch a big bass or make me go home early i don't know you know i've come out on the river a lot and we have a love-hate relationship like we won the tournament last thursday caught good fish it was slow in the beginning and then it just clicked on i mean we were smoking them on frogs worms texas i mean pretty much everything they were eating it come out today caught one in the first spot of the day so the river was like here and here's one fish to kind of build you up if i can't set a hook why could I wring my mouth you know don't even make no sense all right back to it baby let's go all right no more playing games let's catch us a fish shall we what do I want to throw that's the problem I don't know what they do I don't know one thing. It is extremely hot. Very humid. Feels like 97. Yeah, right. Put a one in front of that. Feels like 197. Dude, if I don't catch another fish, I'm not even going to weigh in. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit down, put my head down, and literally fish until I catch another one. All right. It's currently. Is that a fish? I do have a fish. There we go. There we go. Get up here. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna keep. I don't know if you're gonna keep, buddy. Hey, I'll take it. You know how long I've wanted to hook a fish? I can't keep and see you, bud. 
I mean, it is a fish. I've just caught two that aren't keepers. Dang it. It's a good sign though, we caught one. I mean, just can't complain. Oh man, we need us a keeper. That's what we need, we need a keeper. All right, we're gonna toss around a crawl now. Change it up a little bit. Well, we finally caught one. He just was not what we needed. Not what we needed at all. That was only four hours in the making right there. That's how I like it. it I don't wanna come out here and just like, you know, catch fit. That's too easy. I'd rather sit here and just struggle and be miserable and then finally catch one. It's the only problem about fishing the river when the generation's not going. Those little spotted bass, man, they are so mean and aggressive. They eat everything and they are everywhere and they are annoying. I mean, they can get big, but I swear, I've never caught a big spotted bass. I've only caught the micro ones that drive me insane, like the one that we just caught. I'm just looking for a largey sitting up on some kind of structure so I can throw this thing on his head and get him to eat. I think I have one under a rock. What do I just, what do I have? Oh, I do have a fish. That's a nice one too. Come on, come on, get over here. That's a keeper, that's a keeper. That's a nice fish. Okay, okay, get up here. We flipped them. Oh, we're, we're cooking now, baby. That's what we needed. Oh my gosh, is the miracle coming true? What the heck just happened? Oh, nope, don't do that. I got it, I got it. Oh, he came out clean, he came out clean. Gotta get him in the live well real fast. Don't want him to be all injured. What just happened? Okay. Okay. Woo! Let me, let me, let me, let me kind of get everything situated here. What just happened? No, I threw in there. I was like on a tree. I was like, why is it moving? Like, why is it making that noise? We had a fish. Oh my gosh, that was that's nice. We got an hour and like 20 minutes if even that to knock out three more fish we can do this we need three more all right let's let's get back in there oh my gosh Whew. that was clutch right there we needed that we needed that badly you guys don't even understand how how much we needed that dude that was not a bad fish either probably a nice two and a half oh you really needed that i'm not even gonna lie that makes it just like I mean, we still need three fish, but man, the, the pride, like the pride level just went up a little bit. Now I don't feel like I suck at fishing, you know, like at least I have like a decent fish in the, in the live well. This, this could, uh, this could have potential here. If we can, if we can just get, you know, three more fish, that's five. I think top three spots get paid too. So if we can catch you know a few more that size we're in we're in business oh the old green pumpkin purple bandito bug getting her done baby all right you want to get her done and get us three more that'd be great we don't get three i'm gonna strip down naked and jump in the water dude it's so hot did i say that out loud kind of want to look for those pockets where you'd be like oh that's that's definitely where a large mouth would be instead of like a spot or something some spots like the rocks and stuff and large mouth like that like wooded cover area if we could catch five i'll be happy if we don't place don't matter if we catch five five is what i want that's the number we're looking for here Ooh, i'm stressing now man we have potential to catch three i mean we got we got time if we can dial in and consistently catch a few we'll be in business here it's giving me a will to fight that last fish has given me a will to fight I'm not gonna lie after i've missed so many i was ready to just be done but after hooking that last fish, I wasn't going to quit. I was like, no, I have to stay. But after hooking that last one, I have a will to fight now. We might not win, but at least we'll have five fish like everybody else. And I'm okay with that. Come on. I need three. Three is the magic number here. It's a massive spider web. I don't want no part in that. But in order to get my lure back, I'm going to have to take it. This is not the position I want to be in. I don't want to get eaten by a spider. Oh no, I'm going to. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Oh my gosh, they were everywhere. Oh my. 
Whew. Get out of the, get out of the tree. I don't mess with spiders now. I don't care what kind they are. Oh man. Oh, that's a fish. They let go. I still got it. There's one, there's one. That's a keeper, that's a keeper. There's another one with him. Oh my gosh, there's two, there's two. There was two. Oh gosh, I don't, I'm scared to, to flip him because I didn't retie on that last one and he ran me into a tree. I'm my own net man, baby. Get over here, that's a good fish. Yes, yes, get in here. Yes, let's go. We're coming back. Okay, whew, whew, whew. we have a bag to weigh in at least. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh, we're, we're doing this. It's happening right here, right now. Okay, we gotta get him in quick, gotta get him in quick. That's three, baby, that's three. Woo -hoo -hoo! All right, we got three fish. We need five, so we need two more. There was another fish with that fish. And it's currently 1037, so we got some work to do and we ain't got much time to do it, so. Dude, it's, uh, it's turning around here for us. If we could catch two more, I would feel really good because we do have a decent decent few fish. Let's see if we can catch his buddy. His buddy was chasing him. He wanted the bandito bug too. So I think we should just get him a brand new one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I see one up shallow. Oh my gosh, could you imagine we come back and catch a five fish limit? Oh my gosh, the comeback would be insane. We literally cannot slow down. We have to just keep keep catching. Come on. We need two more. Let's make that number a little less. Every single time, why not? Uh-oh. Oh no. At this point, we just got to, we got to set the hook. There's no time to see if it's a tree or if it's a fish. I mean, we got to, we got to hook one and be on to the next. I mean, we ain't got much time. It's a race against the clock here. Might have to actually like make a little run here. All right, I'm gonna fish this and we're gonna make a run back towards the boat ramp and I'm gonna look for anything that looks good. So we can be a little closer. Plus I'm not really feeling all this right here. All right, this spot produced enough. We gotta get back. We gotta get at least closer. I mean, I have like a few little spots we could hit right right on the way, but I mean, we gotta get a decent ways back. Definitely don't wanna be late. Okay, we need to get everything secured. All right, let's make a run. All right, about to be 11 o'clock. We're gonna try this spot for a little bit. Still think we're a decent way away from the boat ramp. I'm gonna try to just kind of fly through this. That way I don't get too far behind. We just need two, man, we need two. Get a little bit closer to the boat ramp. We'll find somewhere around there to fish. We got no time to waste right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, it is 11.05. We're gonna throw some Hail Marys real quick. We are probably, I don't know, five minutes away from the boat ramp. Not terrible. We got those some Hail Marys here though. It's an hour never time. We need two. It's gonna be rough, but honestly, I'd be fine with one more. If we get one more, I feel really good. All right, all right, all right. that's actually right. Dude, we were, we, were, we were moving there for a little bit. It's very hot.
Well, the current time check is 10.25. Sorry, been in the sun all day. 11.25. So we had some extra time to actually stay out and fish, but since I had to put everything on solo, I decided to come back early, get out of everybody's way because there's like 14 or something people and our boat ramps here have like two little lanes. So, you know, it's, it's a big deal. And uh, yeah, so I decided to come back early, get out of everyone's way, get the boat on the trailer, and uh, we have three fish in the live well. We're gonna weigh them in. We're gonna see what happens. We're not gonna win, obviously, but I think I'm very happy with my performance. I fished solo. We caught three fish. It was very slow all day, and then the bite picked up. We got a fighting reason. We came back. I feel like we definitely could have caught one more, and uh, we just missed so many fish, but we're gonna uh, wait for everybody to pull up, and then we're going to uh, head to weigh in. All right, we are at weigh-in. Try to get our fish out. Smallest one of the day. And right there are our other two. This one's actually pretty big. I'm surprised. There we go. Are you kidding me? Bogan's got these trick fish that do all kinds of barrel rolls. And yeah, stuff. you see them go up underneath the trailer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're, they're all up. That's it right there. That's a good one, dude. It's a real good one. That's the big one. He does, man. He just needs a belly to go with, don't he? I got you both. And that was trying to go up under that train. <laughs> All my fish are very lively. <laughs> you, well, you got them jacked up on Mountain Dew, man. It's that release formula you put in there. <laughs> Red Bull in your live well, promotional. Um, 561. Range of what? Range of Appreciate it. Alrighty. Second biggest, there we go. Thanks, buddy. Swam off good, smallest one. See you, buddy. And our biggest one. That's a decent fish right there. See you, boy. And they all swam off perfectly. 1048 and 293. I think it's $680. Probably actually got covered up. It's already on the hill. Well, we can hit it, man. Except an 11. Should be okay. For a second. Thank you. Hey, good job. Good job. And third was five. Oh, two. 61. Oh. Logan Anderson. Hi. Right. Hey. Good Thank job, you. Logan. Appreciate it. Hey, we appreciate it, fellas. Golly, beat you out. Y'all thought y'all had it at 5.02. It's stinking loaded. Hey, man, after I didn't catch one for about three hours, I'm about to go home. I <laughs> too, man. Oh, it's Don't too hot for this. Oh. Well, we just got done with the tournament, with weigh-in, and honestly, I was not expecting that at all. So I actually didn't have a weigh-in bag, so I sat there and watched everybody else weigh in their fish, and I was like, okay, top three is gone. There's no chance. It's not happening. Then I walked over and pulled our fish out the live well, and I was like, wow, those are a lot bigger than I thought they were. And uh, we ended up placing third. That's, that's it. That, I take that as a dub. You guys saw how it started off. It was a little slow. I missed so many fish. It wasn't even funny. And uh, honestly, I probably missed enough to win me the tournament. It was bad. But what a crazy comeback. We didn't have a bite for so long. And then we just started just about, like the last hour. We just started just nailing them. Every, every cast, we were just getting bites, bites, bites. Caught a few good largemouth. And they won us the tournament. So... We have a first place dub and we have a third place dub in the past two tournaments. I think it's time to go pro. But in all seriousness, this is so much fun to do these little local tournaments, meet some people and uh, get out here and just do some fishing. And uh, the only way to get better is to keep doing it. And I've come to this boat ramp multiple times and I always wanted to fish a tournament out of here. And honestly, I didn't really expect to win today, but hey, I'll take it. We won a hundred bucks. We'll put it to our uh, new trolling motor 
uh, fun. But it is super hot. I'm gonna get out of here. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys wanna see more tournament videos, make sure to leave a comment down below. Also, make sure to leave a like and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay fishing.